and I ordered a couple of them while we were here. I would suggest you guys do the same thing because we're going to build a wildcat out of the CDX. Um, yeah, I know, right? So Dave and Annie, you guys are coming up. We're going to hang out. We're going to we're going to build a wildcat out of Legos. I'm right, non Legos, not Legos. <laughs> Lego, not Legos. So yeah, popular, most popular building. But we were talking about um, uh, different things and where do you find parts and pieces and things like that. And uh, one of the funny comments that we were talking about was, uh, what is the weirdest place that you would find a part for a roller coaster? And what did we come up with? eBay. eBay. <laughs> I, I, that's a good story. I'm gonna, all right, so we'll start this with a story. So when we were, um, we were working on the Wildcat roller coaster, um, so I'm with Adventure Park USA. For those of you guys who don't know me, I'm Eric Stottlemyre with Adventure Park USA. Uh, my family owns and operates the uh, amusement park in Maryland. Um, we are the second largest uh, amusement park in Maryland. <laughs> We're the only family-owned uh, amusement park in Maryland, um, privately owned. So, anyhow, so uh, we were building a Wildcat, or I was building a Wildcat, and uh, we were coming up with a, um, a change out for our uh, for the lift hill. For those of you guys who've ridden the Wildcat, the Wildcat has a little bit of an abrasive pickup. Uh, it, it, it's totally German. Hey, we're here. We're hooked in, and we're going. And um, it's a, it's a surprise when you hit it. So so we uh, we were shopping for a variable frequency drive, and um, kind of funny story. I was shopping around and, and talking to the folks from Allen Bradley, and they were about fifteen to twenty thousand dollars for the frequency drive for a thirty horsepower. Uh, motor for those of you guys don't want to anybody know what a variable frequency drive does okay so real quick DC motors you turn the power down it slows the motor down right like an RC car uh, AC motors you have to change it's a 60 Hertz cycle and you have to change that Hertz cycle in order to speed the motor up so you keep the voltage the same and you regulate the Hertz cycles does that make sense like it's like a sound wave okay sorry basic engineering but um <laughs> So it doesn't hurt, yeah. So, so we wanted to slow the motor down so that when you came around to the bottom of the lift hill, it would engage nice and smooth and it wouldn't give you that, that, that jolt. I like the jolt. I don't know about you guys. I like it because it's like, you are on this coaster now and we have control. So, so anyhow, anyhow um, the... Uh, um, so, so I had gone online and I uh, was talking to folks in Allen Bradley and it was like fifteen to twenty thousand dollars and they were giving me model numbers and all this kind of fun stuff and I don't know about you guys but I'm an avid eBay shopper. If it's out there, it's on eBay. So I was like, where can I find this? I'm gonna go on eBay. Guess what? I punched in the model number and in the middle of Texas, God love Texas, there was some warehouse that went under and somebody had found this variable frequency drive had no idea what they had. Nobody bid on it because they only put the model number in. I bought it for a hundred bucks. <laughs> yeah. So God, God bless capitalism. So um, all right. So we're at Venture Park USA. All right. Uh, let's see if we can go. To, are we going to go to the next slide? Let's see here. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. So all right. Here we go. All right. So this is kind of cool. I'm going to give you a real. Quick breakdown of us, we are a massive, really small park. And so our massive size allows us to, um, to add on to our park. And when we opened up, so this was, uh, this was my father's vision, um, to, uh, to expand from our, uh, we were originally at Puppa Golf and Games up in Frederick, Maryland, and um, we had expanded. And we built Adventure Park USA, opened in 05, um, and in 06. Uh, this is an aerial picture, obviously, from 06. And it shows we had two go-kart tracks. We had um, the bumper boats, we had our pavilion. We had miniature golf, which you'll notice looks like, if, if for any of you guys that were there in 06, 05, 06, the golf course was like a barren wasteland because we were in such, right? It was crazy. We were in such a rush to get the thing open that we didn't put any, we forgot to put any vegetation, we didn't forget. We didn't have time to put vegetation out on the golf course. It was not, I mean, you were out there in the summertime, it was like, God bless you, I hope you love mini golf because you, you, you've gotta be dedicated to go out and play. But anyhow, so this is what it looked like. It was all mulch and it was fantastic because when it rained, it all ran down in the pond, which is right here, and it was lots of fun to clean up. Um, and then we had paintball, um, which was like a flash in the pan. It kind of came and it went. Um, we had water wars and 
can you guys see the one hard ride attraction that we had right there? Anybody know what it is? Carousel. It's a carousel. That's right. We were we were a ride park when we opened up with our <laughs> with our one carousel. So we were setting the world on fire and um, getting things going. Actually, the park did really really well our first year. Um, and then for any of you guys that were alive in 07, 08, the economy tanked, and in the middle of that, we decided to go ahead and and, um, and expand. Um, I went crazy and bought, and I, when I say I went crazy and bought, I bought the first Wildcat roller coaster or the first ride that actually went into the park. I had to prove a point. Uh, for those of you, Mark, who knows my father very well, um, <laughs> Dad's a little bit of an abrasive person, and uh, he's a great guy, got a great heart. But it was, um, I want to build a roller coaster. No, we're not putting a roller coaster. I'm going to build a roller coaster, Dad. No, we're not putting a roller coaster in the park. Hey, Dad, I bought a roller coaster. <laughs> And I, I blame you guys over, over there at Ride Entertainment Group. Um, anybody heard that story? Did I tell you guys a story about? Okay, you're gonna love this story. So, I uh, it kind of went like this. I was at IAPA in uh, 05, 04, 05, or 03, whatever, and I met this crazy guy, Ed Hiller, and uh, we, you know, fantastic guy. And we hit it off, and um, Ed's the CEO of um, Ride Entertainment Group, and uh, fantastic guy, and he has. Um, Mark uh, and um, Adam, were you working with him back then? I just started. You just started, okay. So Adam, uh, Sandy, and uh, Ed and I were talking, and I said, you know what would be great? We need a we need a roller coaster at Adventure Park. We need a roller coaster. And um, I kind of left it at that. And uh, about I don't know, probably about a month or two later, I get a call from Adam, and Adam says, Hey, uh, Ed and I found the perfect coaster for you. Mm -hmm. And I said, oh, really? That's great. Let's go up and look at it. So it's uh, it right up in um, Williams Grove. Anybody know where Williams oh, Grove is? Yeah, up the yeah. Remember? Yeah, Morgan Hughes, fantastic guy, real nice. Um, and <laughs> it was interesting. Uh, so um, Adam sent me up to, um, to uh, Williams Grove, where this beautiful piece was sitting. For those of you guys that were cheating on the roller coaster database, uh, during the test, um, you pull up Wildcat and look at the, our Wildcat that was at uh, Williams Grove. It was in horrible shape. Anyhow, it was under a lot of the marshy area back at Williams Grove. Of course, Williams Grove was a big marshy area. And uh, so I go up there, and um, I didn't have the money, but I wanted it. <laughs> so I called up Ed. I said, uh, Ed, I'm funding this myself. I'm actually mortgaging my farm to buy the first roller coaster to go into Adventure Park. And uh, I said, I, the, the refinance isn't done yet. Um, I, I know that I'm gonna close in the next couple months, or you know, a couple weeks, I think that it's gonna be coming together. I'm pretty sure it's gonna come together. Can you help me out? It says, um, yeah, come on down, we'll, we'll write something up, we'll figure it out. And uh, Morgan Hughes, who owned the Wildcat and owned uh, Williams Grove, uh, was a very, What's the word for it? Give me a descriptive word that would be he's just what would be what? Unique. Unique. There you go. Eccentric. Uh, slightly abrasive. Uh, I'm on the phone with with Morgan and I'm trying to negotiate and telling him what I'm going to pay for it. He ended up telling me what I was going to pay for it. And he says, uh, I said, you know, let's let's talk price. He says, whatever price we come to, you're bringing me cash. And he has this thick Dutch. It was Dutch, right? Thick Dutch accent. And uh, I said, yeah, yeah, sure, I'll bring you cash. <laughs> and he says, um, he says, boy, you know what cash, now he's like 80 couple of years old at this point. He says, boy, do you know what cash is? I said, yes, yeah, 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 sir. He says, um, I want the type that folds. I said, oh, oh, okay, no problem. So I told Ed this. Ed gave me a briefcase <laughs> full of money to go up to put the deposit. I, I'm, it was like out of good guys, you know. I'm, I'm out of the car, got this briefcase full of money, and I walk into this dingy little room and put the suitcase up on there. I pop it open. <laughs> That's what I'm paying, and it's not my money. <laughs> but anyhow, so Ed was awesome. Uh, helped us. Everything worked out. We uh, opened the Wildcat in 06, uh, 07, Excuse me, oh seven, and the economy tanked. Um, but uh, we believe 
I believe that it was at what actually, because of folks like you all, Ace uh, getting behind us, and the recognition of putting the Wildcat in, I think it was actually the thing that actually kept us alive through the recession. Um, so roller coasters are awesome for your, your park. And as you can see, I kind of got a little obsessed. So we've got the Wildcat here. Uh, we closed down one of the go-kart tracks. I opened up another uh, coaster. We bought it out of, um, out of Florida, Old Town, thank you. Uh, it was the called the it was called the windstorm. Well, it's a windstorm coaster. SDC and Zamperla um, built this piece, um, and we we moved it in um, in 2015. And I also bought a little Myler coaster, um, which has been a fantastic piece. Uh, interesting thing about the Myler coaster was when it was brought into the park, it was in very very bad shape. I wish I had a picture of it. It was in awful awful shape, and. Um, my father, when we were offloading it, he's always so colorful in his descriptions. <laughs> he says, um, you're not putting that in the park. It was blue, rusted, falling apart. And it was great because when it opened up, you can see where the, see it's right here. It's this little coaster right here. When it opened, we had a line from the coaster all the way down around the tilt to whirl and all the way back up here. Kids standing in line for it. It's a great piece. Love it. It's it's a wonderful piece. But we, you can see we've added some other rides. So we've got uh, we've got a tilt. We've got a scrambler. Um, we bought um, what we we picked up a sky race from uh, Zamperla. We've got a Zamperla teacups. We've got a helicopter. Uh, I'm sorry, a um, frog hopper. Fantastic ride and a uh, mini Himalaya. So we've added a lot throughout the years. Now, the one thing that I see with this park. How many of you guys, you guys have been to my park? How many of you have all been to my park? God bless you, I love you. Um, so one of the things that I found with our park, and I'm running this by you guys, I want your impact, I want, I want your feedback, I wanna hear from you guys. Okay, so this is slated, this area down here is slated for water park, eventually, okay? Um, if any of you guys wanna write me a check, we'll get going tomorrow. <laughs> I'll pay you back, I pay back Ed. Um, so, yeah, take cash, the type that folds. Um, <laughs> so what we found is this is very FEC style, right? So this is um, main building, you know, we've got our RV, our K, about 100 RK game, spin zone. Um, we've got our, our, our uh, Westworld laser tag. We've got our, our birthday party rooms, our restaurant, all that kind of fun stuff, main ticketing's right in here. You walk out the main building, and you kind of go one way or the other. You know, it's, it's straight. For those of you guys who walk through the park, you walk up the hill, and you go to go-karts, or you walk the other way, and you go to the rides. So what I feel like is missing, and give me some feedback, I think that we need to go around and make it more of a park so that you walk more of a walk around the park. Because we are kind of landlocked. I'm, I've got uh, land forestation behind me. Uh, I've got a big um, industrial park beside me, so we're, we're limited. We've got about 19 acres, but I'm trying to make the better use of the park, and I want to add more rides. I want to add more things. I want to add more coasters. Um, so let's talk about coasters. So the Wildcat is the first coaster that we added. Then there's the Wild West Express. I don't know why we got stuck on wild. It just, <laughs> Wildcat, Wild West Express. This is the tumbleweed. Uh, tumbleweed just got rewrapped, and as you can see, it's an awesome ride. Very cool. My dad got to eat his words. <laughs> it looks really wild. It does, doesn't it? I think it should be called the wild tumbleweed. <laughs> so here's a little Where's Waldo. Are any of you guys friends with me on Facebook? Yeah. Yes. Okay, you're not allowed to say anything. Okay. So, um, who thinks they know where Eric is? in this photo right here. Are you friends with me on Facebook? Okay, what do you think? That's like one of the photos for the I love it, see? Because Mark blew it. No, I'm just kidding. It's, it is the foundation. I'm inside of one of the footers for the Sky Coaster. Um, I think that I, my girlfriend would probably tell you there's something wrong with me that I wanted to get down in there and take my picture, but it was kind of cool. It was a neat photo, so I wanted to get down there. Actually, I was in there and I was putting the, the anchors in um, but I thought, well, this is kind of a cool photo. So, uh, yeah, that's the, um, the anchors for the, uh, the Sky Coaster. Our Sky Coaster is unique. Um, the Sky Coaster went in um, last year. It was great. So how many of you guys have been down to Orlando and ridden the Sky Coaster down there? One of the two. 
right? You ride that thing's 250 feet. Do you ride the 250 footer? Do you guys ride the 300? Which you guys ride? Both. You ride both. 300. Yeah, you rode the 300, saying so. I rode the 250. That was enough for me. And uh, we got off of it, and I looked at my brother in law, and I said, oh, we have got to buy one of these. <laughs> so, lucky for us, <clears throat> um, the folks at Zamperla had taken it down. Where, Mark, it came from, what was the name of the park that it came out of? What was it? Luna. Luna? Okay, which is in New York, right? Yeah. Okay, so they, it's not going to play, is it? It's just angry. And then I have it on the screen playing it. Oh, really? That's awesome. So it's a really cool video. I worked on it for hours for you guys. <laughs> Um, now you can, the video is pretty cool. I posted it on YouTube last night, but it just shows the, uh, the um, and you might be able to pull it up on there. It shows the erection of the sky coaster, and it's really cool. Our sky coaster is a little bit different than a lot of them. We did a pier mount because we wanted to, because of course we are limited on space. So when you come to our park, our, our sky coaster actually sits 10 feet off of the ground. So the piers that I was in, the columns, are 25 feet in the ground and another 10 feet above the ground. So they're 35 feet deep. They took 11 yards of concrete just to go in. One footer took 11 yards of concrete down in the ground. Um, and uh, it's just an awesome, it was an awesome build. And the guys from Ride Entertainment Group, uh, Bill Wright came up and helped direct this thing. And it was awesome putting this thing together. So much fun. So Zamperla had the piece. They took it down to put in another um, uh, ride at their park. And um, they had it sitting, what did they? Oh, it's rolling. Fantastic, look, see? So here we go. No, 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 no volume, no volume. But um, anyhow, so they're set in the rear tower, and it's pretty cool, we wanted to put it right over top of the, the waterfall back here. Um, but it was, it was just an awesome experience to be able to work with um, real professionals, the guys with, uh, with Rod Entertainment Group actually erecting the ride and coming in and doing a lot. They had worked, um, they worked with us a lot in the, um, I feel like an advertiser for Ride Entertainment Group. They'd worked with us a lot on, um, on building the Wildcat and on erecting the other rides. And I got schooled. You don't want to get schooled by Bill Wright. Bill Wright is their, uh, is their guy that goes in and does rehabs and, and tears down rides and things like that. Bill came in when I was building the Wildcat and he, he looked at it and said, it tracks crooked. What do I do? Fix it. <laughs> what? I, I don't know what I'm doing, Bill. He said, no, you need to fix that. I said, okay, I'll fix it. I had no clue. I was really, it was interesting learning, um, putting the rides together and, and uh, building them. So, yes, when you come to ride my roller coaster, uh, I had no idea what I was doing when I was putting them together. Um, but here we go, they're, they're erecting the, what we consider the North Tower. And you can see that this is... Um, one of the piers that's up on it and we have a flight deck that's actually elevated very cool or unique in the industry in that i think we have the only sky coaster that's actually maybe one of two that are like that yeah you guys and maury's piers yeah us and maury's piers so east coasters were just a little bit mental um but it, it our our ceiling uh height that we're allowed to build at is 120 feet we're 119 with the sky coaster so it's perfect um, but it went up really well. Uh, the, the folks had it, and they had it in their in their yard in New Jersey. Um, I love grabbing rides that are used. I, I think it's fantastic. The, the Wildcat was such a cool piece because it was built in 1976, 75. Anybody ride the Wildcat when it was in Busch Gardens, Williamsburg? Did you really? No, no, not Williamsburg, Williamsburg. Really? Yeah. Really? That's so. See, that's so cool. So I got a piece of history. I think it's amazing. Um, and I know some of you guys have ridden the, the Express. You rode the, the windstorm down in uh, Florida, right? Yeah. yeah. So, you know, it's kind of cool. It's, it's neat to be able to say, okay, I rode this in different places. And we're planning on putting up plaques and, uh, that would give some of this information out. But this is kind of neat. Okay, so have any of you guys actually seen a, a sky coaster being built? No. Okay, so she's up here. This is uh, Amanda, Amanda, right? Okay, Amanda's up here. And um, I think they drew straws. No, I'm just kidding. They, these people, I couldn't keep them on the ground there. They love getting up there. So um, this tower uh, is not moving. It's staying still, obviously. It's up on the... Yeah. Um, and uh, my girlfriend was watching it last night. She's like, I'm getting sick looking at this. So anyhow, so she's up here. She's about 65 feet up off the ground. The great thing about it is the tower leans in at about a five degree, four degree angle. Four or five degrees, is that what it is? Something like that. 
was, you know. So it's leaning in like this. Now, when it's together, you've got a bridge. So it's this, and then a little bridge, like that. When it's like this, it's just sticking up in the air like this. Now, you'll see another, they're, they're setting the south tower. So we had the north tower over here, south tower over here. You'll see it in just a split second here. Um, maybe a little bit longer than a split second, so I'll keep talking. Um, but you'll see it, they're, they're standing on the tops of these and they're waiting on the bridge mm -hmm. to come up from the ground. And it's absolutely, it's so, it's so cool seeing it go together and builds at the bottom. The amazing thing about it is while the, while the workers, it's, um, it's Amanda and what's the other lady's name, or the other guy's name? Uh, got it. Donnie? Yeah. Okay, so Donnie's on one tower, Amanda's on the other. The bridge is going up. Now, realizing that you are changing, you have to change the angle slightly from 120 feet below you, or 190 feet below you, excuse me. So Bill is at the bottom, Bill Wright is at the bottom of these towers, and when the bridge comes up, Bill's down there <laughs> wrenching on the mounting bolts and loosening the nuts up. <laughs> so the towers are going like this. <laughs> I'm down on the ground like, this guy is nuts. <laughs> These people are crazy. So you can't see it. Um, I, you don't actually, I, I should have gotten a video of it because my guys are standing there like, we like working with you, Eric, but we don't like you that much. They must love him. But uh, it went up really well. Um, we were we were a couple days in uh, in actually erecting the ride. The guys from Digging and Rigging came up and helped put us up. As you can see, it's a spectacular landmark as you're going up and down 70. The great thing about it is Zamperilla spent an enormous amount of money on a light show, which we haven't gotten fixed yet, but it's working somewhat. Um, so we've got a great, we've got a spectacular light show that's on it. Um, and uh, it's illuminated, it's very visible going up and down 70, so the idea was to add some sort of vertical presence in the park. Um, and you can see, I mean, here's US 70 and uh, Interstate 70, but it, it really worked out well, and um, it's a great piece. It's fun because uh, when the guys came from Sky Coaster, um, I got to meet a really interesting man by the name of Kirby Collins, and uh, Kirby is the guy that started uh, working with, with uh, Sky Coaster back, what, 25 years ago? He was one of Bill's kitchen guys. Okay, so yeah. Bill was the guy that invented it. And um, Kirby's so cool, he stayed late. These guys, these guys worked nonstop on getting it up and running. And then he stayed late because I wanted to be the second person to fly the thing. And he just hung out, he was so cool, and uh, he taught my guys how to, how to climb and work on it. And for those of you guys that have no fear of heights and wanna come up and climb the Sky Coaster, you can apply at Adventure Park USA, I'll definitely hire you. <laughs> <laughs> Another thing that we added uh, this year was Hollowgate. Have any of you guys played Hollowgate? You familiar with Hollowgate? How many of you guys went to IAPA this year? Okay. So IAPA um, at Hollowgate last year, or last year at IAPA, they introduced Hollowgate, and we saw it and we loved it. Now, if for those of you guys who play virtual reality, you haven't played virtual reality like this. This thing is amazing. It's very addictive and uh, very fun to play. Let's see if we can get the video to play. Oh, it's got music. Okay, so here's Hollowgate. It's an 18 by 18 square. You put on your VR glasses. You get your cannon because we can't say gun. <laughs> but we can say cannon. It's a laser cannon. Because <laughs> that's so much more PC than gun. <laughs> so, and you have a great time and you want to high five everybody after you're done playing. Let's go to the next slide, I'll show you the next. This one, so this is one of the couple games that they've got. Next one, thank you so much for your help. They add games, this is so cool. They add games all the time, and this is so much fun. Now this one, this one you might need counseling after playing. Um, I have a very vivid imagination, so you go in and you have to play this, this zombie game, and everything gets turned into a zombie. The robots, everything is turning against you, and you're fighting against all these robots, and you have to go in, you, you, Join the ZWAT team, and your yeah, ZWAT, the zombie something or another team, and you have your 
laser cannon. <laughs> and you put on your, your goggles and, and it's awesome. It is total immersion VR. So you got the headset on, you've got the goggles on, you've got your shooting device and you get in and you get to play and these zombies it's so realistic you're in it and you're looking around and then one of them just comes up and pops up right beside you and you scream and i've been told that you're not supposed to say you scream like a little girl i heard that it's worse to actually scream like a little boy so you scream like a little boy when these things are jumping up at you and it's terrifying and it's fun but it's a great game it's neat because um it is all ages uh, it's totally interactive. If you come up to the park, challenge me. We will play it. We will have so much fun. It, they've got right now. I think we have uh, four different games that are actually loaded into the virtual reality game. Uh, one of the ones that they just partnered with was the folks from Angry Birds, and we're super excited to get that. Um, it's been a mainstay in the middle of the park. Oh, go back to that last slide. Okay. So I like to hunt for games, or not games. I'm sorry. I like to hunt for things. There you go. Leave it there. Thanks. I like to hunt for things in weird and obscure places. I like finding rides that are that have some history to them. I love. We have got such a, a great team of people that are we're rehabbing rides um, all the time. Um, all of our rides have come in different forms of dysfunctionality, and we've we've rebuilt them. And it's just it's becoming a real kind of I don't know like a hobby. So these are the three rides that we just purchased. Thank you to Six Flags for closing down a park down in Georgia. And um, it was American Adventure. Uh, it went, um, they closed it down. Uh, Six Flags bought up the water park and then they closed down the dry park. And these, uh, these two rides, along with a bunch of other ones, sat in a, basically like a, a vacant um, amusement park for a while. And long story short, they ended up in a field down in Florida <coughs> And now they're at Adventure Park USA. So I bought a super slide. Who hasn't ridden a super slide? Come on, they're fantastic. So I got a 120 foot long super slide, just picked it up. And then we picked up the Zamperla balloon race. It's a nice, it's an excellent piece, tons of lights. Got like 3,000 lights on this thing. Goes uh, about 30 feet in the air. It's gonna go up in the middle of the park. And remember we were talking about the layout, like making a loop. I wanna put some of these rides at the back. Um, one of the rides that I'm super excited about is I bought a Eli wheel. I know, right? Yes. So I wanted a Ferris wheel. Who doesn't want a Ferris wheel? I, I wanted a Ferris wheel since we opened the park. How can you have a park and not have a Ferris wheel? Right? Fun spot or fun. Um, sorry. Um, all the other parks in in America need a Ferris wheel. We need a Ferris wheel too. So. Our Ferris wheel has some history along with um, some of our other pieces. Uh, this Ferris wheel survived Katrina. It was at City Park. Anybody ever been to City Park? Yeah, I have. Okay, very cool. If you rode the Ferris wheel down there, I now own the City Park Ferris wheel. What, what's that? Is it open seats or closed seats? No, it's open. Okay. Um, so it's an Eli 12, I believe. Um, and it's a cable driven. It's an old school. It was built in 1972, was put into the park. It actually survived Hurricane Katrina. It got no damage. At least that's what they told me. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't erected it yet. It's very ugly. It's green and blue. So I put up a kind of pretty picture of an Eli 12. But um, yeah, so it's exciting. We're going to be adding those to the park hopefully in the next year. Um, this summer, I want to definitely have the, the Eli wheel up and running. And um, but I don't know, what do you guys think about, I mean, changing, you guys have been in more parks than I have. So I love to hear feedback. And you don't have to tell me right now, we can talk about it offline. I love feedback. I love hearing from you guys. So if you guys have ideas of things that you see at other parks, you know, I am always open to ideas. I'm open to changing things. We're talking about going to a different type of uh, ticketing system, gate fees, things like that. And the guys will tell you, I always throw it out there. I love feedback. Uh, we're learning just like anybody else is in, that's in this industry. We want to do what works. So you guys are there. I love to hear it. So anyhow, but uh, I guess that's about it. And we're going to continue to grow. And I hope you guys are going to continue to be a part of coming to the park. We are actually, I'm negotiating on another roller coaster right now. Um, it is a, it's a Zamperla piece that was also in the um, park in uh, Georgia. It's called a Buffalo coaster. 
Um, it was taken down. It's actually in storage right now. Um, but if we can get the engineering work done on it, I think we might go ahead and acquire it and put it in the back side of the park. So we'll be we'll have four coasters, which would be pretty cool. Yeah. 